Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to 10 lies Europeans believe about American people. And so I have to say, it's not only Europeans, Africans too. Probably everybody around the world, except maybe for Canadians and Americans who live next to each other. But America is seen as the Eldorado. I'm going to see what lies Europeans believe. And then, since I live in the US now, coming from Africa, I'm going to also talk about my experience, what I used to believe, what I found. But yeah. Do not forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. Okay, the first slide that I was told was that Hollywood is full of shiny things and celebrities are just everywhere. I'm, I'm going to say uh, Hollywood itself is kind of a kick. Wow, she really went there. When I was there, I may have seen some celebrities, but they were keeping really low key and had baseball caps on, so they were very hard to spot. And Hollywood, as I said, is not that shiny and wonderful. The Hollywood sign itself is, I'll be honest, it's kind of a letdown. I guess I pictured Beverly Hills when I thought of Hollywood. Ooh, ooh, Beverly Hills. The next Let slide that you're about Beverly Hills. Oh my God! There was this TV show called, I think, in nine zero two. Catroven this, this, and this, 90210, Beverly Hills. I used to watch this show and think, oh my God, all I need is to get to the USA and go to Beverly Hills. And I didn't know about, at the time, I didn't used to think about rent and all of that. Because, let's get into it. I hope she get into the rich part, where how people believe that America is all this rich country, everybody's rich and all of that. But yeah, let's, let's continue. Europeans are told about America is that it's just full of extremes. And don't get me wrong, it is, it is. but it's not just extremes. Our perception through the media is that Americans are either really fat or really fit. They're either total jocks or nerds. Stereotypes from movies. And like I said, don't get me wrong, those stereotypes exist for a reason. However, the majority of people are not extremes. They're just regular in-between people with thoughts and feelings that vary and are nuanced. The next line the Europeans are told about America is that you just quit your jobs whenever you want to. And that's, again, Obvious. from TV shows mm. and films. People just go, I quit when they're unhappy or having yep. a bad day. You're fired. I quit. You're fired. I quit. You're fired. You're fired. Right, right, right. I mean, I already quit, so. Additionally, we think from the same sources that you can just go, you are fired out of the blue, and there's no repercussions for that. In fact, a lot of times contracts are in place and stuff, and it just doesn't work like that in the real world. On The Apprentice, they do do the you're fired, but that's a specific place. The next lie that you are told about America as a European is that everybody in America is obsessed with celebrities, whereas actually the truth couldn't be farther from that. Okay, so in Europe, a lot of our celebrities come from America. So we naturally presume that everybody is completely obsessed with celebrities. That is also true for Africa because, I mean, Hollywood celebrities are worldwide celebrities, to be honest. And now with the rise of Afrobeat and all of that, you have some huge, big African celebrities. But before that, all we have was uh, American celebrities. And I used to watch American movies about... Uh, you know, high school movies when I used to, when I was young, and you used to see this guy. He's the singer, he's this pop star, and all of that. And he has to hide. Everybody's crazy about him. And we used to think about, okay, yeah, in America, you're a celebrity. Everybody's just wow about you. And then that couldn't be far from the truth. Within America. In actual fact, most people just kind of see their lives and what goes on behind the scenes as a little bit of entertainment, just like we do in Europe. One thing I will say is kind of odd as a European always when I go to America is seeing on your mainstream news, the focus on celebrities within actual serious news programs. We don't really have that as much in Europe. I know in the UK, they focus a lot on royalty. Make way for the loser. But you don't tend to see people talking about celebs on news shows as much in Europe. The next lie, okay, and this might just be a me thing, but the next lie that I believed about America before I went to America, and I actually think you're gonna probably slag me off for this in comments. I thought that you guys only had roll-on deodorant. I thought you didn't have spray-on deodorant. Because in movies, people always roll on their deodorant, you know, in the changing room. 
And I get why this misconception exists. To be fair, your houses and the land that not existed in America because I didn't. The next misconception that Europeans have about America is that you're all really rich. And I get why this misconception exists. To be fair, your houses and the land that your houses are on are generally a lot bigger than what we have in Europe for middle class people. Additionally, many people in America live on credit. So a lot of people are living above mm -hmm. their means to what they really should be living. Also, you have to understand that we know America through Hollywood and uh, the music industry. In every music video you see, you see big houses, rich people. And then in Hollywood, you don't really see poor people in, in, in Hollywood movies. So it's easy to think in your head, okay, they are rich. Even when they are poor in movies, they already, they usually have a house. They have a car, they have a job, they just struggle. And then you're like, okay, yeah, you have a house, you have a car, you have all of this. You got to figure it out. But yeah, they never see how people really struggle in, in Hollywood movies. And the thing about credit in America is you are encouraged to use credit. Like a lot of things you can't get until you build mm -hmm. up credit, which is exists in Europe, but it isn't so much I focused on. Like there are other ways to build up your trust with banks. And as I've mentioned before, I've never seen poverty quite like I've seen in America. In Europe, of course, there are homeless people, but not in the same way that they are in America. It really I swear to God, the first time I came to America, like if I was overwhelmed when I went out of the airport in New York. And then as we were driving through the city, I was seeing all those buildings and all everything. I was kind of overwhelmed that after that, we went to what, what what is this place called when you go to new york is it central not central park where you go oh my god you have all these posters you have all these buildings you have all these tv sewing ads and things like that and i saw homeless people even there and i thought i used to think when i was in africa that this is the peak of american lifestyle and then i saw all of that i was like i ah, know this is too much. I didn't think about it. even the guy who, who I was with, my cousin, he was like, did you think they were homeless in America? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know there are homeless everywhere, but I didn't think like in places like this or, and then you also see some garbage on, on the road. And I was like, oh my God, Hollywood's been lying to us so bad, man. Cause like in Hollywood, you barely see the negatives. Not, not, not that they are negatives, but I mean, they are always negatives, but you always see the clean, the rich people and all of that. You don't know really how life really works in America if you only know it through Hollywood, because Hollywood is lying. Because I went over expecting, as I said, pretty much everybody to be super rich. And then I saw people looking like Oliver Twist on the street, and that was a surprise to me. Additionally, I'm something... I'm asking that I can relate to, because teenagers run America. I can relate to this one when I went there and that's not the case. The next lie that Europeans are told about America is that pretty much teenagers yep. run America. If, if media was to yep. be believed and movies, movies and, TV and TV shows. shows. In actual fact, I have still not seen a cheerleader when I've gone to America. I have never been invited to a prom or homecoming. And that seems like an integral part of your society go. from film and TV. So yeah, I know movies and TV shows aren't real, but I definitely thought that teenagers would have a more central role in America. That um, is true. I also used to think that. And then you come to America and the teenagers, I'm, I think also like the teenagers have changed with the when in, with the coming of social media, with the prevalence of social media and all of that. But yeah, back in the day, I used to watch all these movies. American Pie, bro. I used to watch American Pie and think, oh man, this is the life. This, this is the life. And then you come to realize those guys are 25, 26 playing 17, 16 years old kids. And then, man, they lied to us so bad. I can't believe it. Fast food, breakfast, swing. I can't relate none of this, so I'm going to cut the video here. But yeah, and if you guys want me to do a video on my own, talking about what I used to think about America and what I found, I can do that definitely. But also, I have to say also, America is a land of opportunities. Yeah, I love. Before America, I didn't have an apartment, I didn't have a car, I was dependent. Now, in three years, 
I'm living alone. I have my car in my apartment. So America, America, I love America. I love that, that side of America. Like you have opportunity to work and all of that. So I used to believe that before I came here. And this is that, that is true. That is true. You don't get as much money the way you think you will get it as if you're going just to pull it from as it, as if it is leaves from trees. But yeah, if you work, you get rewarded. That, that That's one thing that I love about America, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys want me to do a whole video about what I used to believe about America and what I found, I can definitely do that. Please let me know in the comments if you want some.